Semiotics is derived from the Greek word semion. It describes the use of sign as a language. The study of signs in linguistics is known as semiology. This is a psychology of consumer behaviour project on semiotics. Cultures rely on signs because all cultural practices and objects embody meaning. However, meaning varies from culture to culture. Semiologist theories can be used to understanding the nature of signs by decoding them to extract meaning. Saussure, a Swiss linguist, theorized that signs function like language. He states that a sign is composed of two fundamental components, which are combined to communicate meaning. These components are the signified and the signifier. For example, a stop sign is the signifier and the signified concept is the command to stop. This is why we universally understand that we must stop when we see a red stop sign. Pierce, also a semiologist, theorize that signs fall into three different categories. These categories are icon, index, and symbol. Icon is a symbol that stands for an object by resembling that object, such as pictures, maps, and diagrams. Index refers to signs that use causal links between the sign and the object. For example, smoke is the sign and is also the index of fire. Think of index signs as cause and effect. Symbols are signs that have an arbitrary nature. The relationship between signs and its meaning depends on the culture. Again, think of signs as more than just stop signs. They involve a vast network of cultural aspects such as words and colours. Color attaches meaning to its objects. In fact, color is like another language on its own because we interpret meaning from color. For example, red is at the top of the color spectrum, so we see red first before any other color. And that is why stop signs are red because it grabs attention and stimulates people to make quick decisions. This theory can also relate to advertisements because marketers use color and words to attract to a certain and particular group of people. Colors are used to convey a certain message. If you think of Kudo and iPod advertisements and logos, they use bold and exciting colors to attract to the younger generation. When marketers are advertising environmental themes, they use the color green to convey nature. Louis Vuitton uses brown and gold colors to provoke prestige, wealth, and high quality. Louis Vuitton always used monograms on their products, but then they came out with a checkered design. Since they used the same colors, people were able to recognize the product as Louis Vuitton. Then, using the same monogram, but in different and vibrant colors, they were able to attract and expand to a new demographic of younger generations and a wider range of income. Louis Vuitton uses old-style serif fonts, which correspond to elegance and sophistication. In contrast, sans serif and novelty fonts are used to entice children. When designers produce logos, brand equity should always be at the back of their minds. Semiotics is brand equity management. A brand can be defined as a system of signs and symbols that engage the consumers in an imaginary or symbolic process that contributes to tangible values and product offerings. Symbolic communications ties to brand communications, like advertising, packaging, and logos. In logos, it is a complex matrix of signifying elements. For example, McDonald's. The logo of McDonald's is a visual icon. The structure of the logo are two golden arches with a red background and white text superimposed on the right of the logo, so this gives a movement for viewers to see from the left to right. When consumers see this logo, it consistently signifies the company and brand offerings such as burgers and fries. 
Similarly, when this logo is presented at a different time and place, it gives a different meaning. If it is seen in the U.S., people would think it's a cheap and unhealthy fast food. However, when it's presented in China, it's a special treat for children.